Monarch, I spoke with Sajan Gohal, who is the International Security Director at Asia Pacific Foundation. I asked him what he thought about the king in the prolonged mourning period. Well, in many ways, it is a reflection of just how important the late uh, King Bhumibol was to the people of Thailand. In many ways, he was seen as a father figure who guided the nation through very turbulent times in the country's past uh, during many political coups. Let's not forget that he was the king since 1946. Uh, generations grew up only knowing him. Now, he may have only had symbolic power, but he was seen as a very important person in shaping Thailand and how it progressed economically, politically, and socially. Tell us how people are going to perceive his son when he does ascend to the throne. Are they going to be accepting of him? Is he welcomed at this point? Well, Crown Prince uh, Mahavaji Ralongkorn doesn't carry the same aura and prestige as his father. He, unfortunately, his uh, personal life has often been scrutinized. It's attracted some notoriety and controversy. Uh, he has a huge burden now to try and emulate his father, to try and provide the same uh, paternal role for Thailand, for the people, that they can trust and, and believe in him. And that also in uh, the future, uh, when Thailand experiences political instability or social challenges, that you have somebody who is a neutral person, not politically connected, but can act as that person to, to deal with potential divisions inside the country. And that is a huge challenge that the uh, crown prince or king-designate uh, will have to deal with. Do people view his uh, absence, prolonged absence, in a negative way, the fact that he is traveling right now and he has not ascended to the throne immediately? Well, Crown Prince uh, Vajir Alonkhan uh, has also uh, spoken about that he needs time before he can formally ascend to the throne. Uh, what will be very interesting is the role of the uh, Privy Council of Thailand, and in particular, uh, Prem Tin Sulananda, who is the president of the Privy Council. Now, he's a very important figure in Thailand. He's a former military man. He was prime minister from the country in 1980 to 1988. Uh, there is talk that he doesn't necessarily see the crown prince as the best possible person to replace the late uh, King Bumibol. There's often been talk about uh, the fact that King Bumibol's daughter, Princess Ma Sidonhon, uh, could potentially be a successor. She's very popular in the country. She's known also as someone who's got very good diplomatic skills. There are a lot of uncertainties about what will develop in Thailand internally. The assumption would be that the crown prince will take over, but as we're seeing, nothing, unfortunately, is falling into plan as, as perhaps predicted previously.